We are in the summer of 2020 and some people are still locked out of the account because they forgot their username or password. Come on. There are loads of password managers out there that can create solid passwords for you. And not just do that, they will save it securely. And anytime you click on login, they will automatically fill in your username and password. So if you're ready, let me show you how to force password managers to fill in your username and password while logging into all application in your phone. Welcome back to Smart Depot. If this is your first time of watching our video, why not click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon to receive new notification whenever we do a video like this. So if we're done with that, let's go into the video. Today I'll be talking about password managers and if you're using Android, you already have one from Google right inside your phone. There are loads of them out there and many of them are very, very popular. MPass, BlackBerry, LastPass, Dashine, Password Manager, they are just, and Password, there are just so many there. So whichever one you are using, you can also use it in your phone. But today, I'm going to show you how to force these applications to fill in every password for you for every application login in your phone. I'm going to be starting with the browser. Now, let's say you already have a password manager working for you, like in this case, we're using Google, and then you fill in in the browser to log in into your account, maybe Twitter. And then after you've done that, and you can just go in and with your secure login and all that you just go in and browse but then when you come down the same application on the phone and you're using the same google account signed in you can see what the feel you can see the password popping out and you just been wondering and one of the things that happens here is that most people end up typing the wrong username or the wrong passwords and they end up being locked out of their legitimate account and this could be very very sad so that's why it's important you pay close attention to what we're saying let me show you how to force password managers to fill in all your password for all application login in your phone so first of all you're going to go back to the settings in your phone and then from the setting you go straight down to system and then from the system now you go into language and input so this should be available from like android 6 or 7 upwards um, then from there you're going to click on autofill service as you can see right now in the phone there is none selected so what you're going to click on that and then you'll be able to pick one if there is any other password manager installed in your phone you will see it here but for this uh, uh, test we're going to be using only um, google uh, password manager there are a lot of them out there i've talked about it before now so once you've turned it on right now you just go back to the same application that wasn't giving you any autofilling and once you click on it right now the autofilling will come out and then it will even show you uh, the application that's running the autofilling and with it one click bam you're right into your account also go to settings account and make sure you turn on sync for chrome in your phone this will help the latest password that you saved in your chrome browser on pc be synced in into your phone and be available for autofill services there may be one or two applications in your phone that will resist autofill service in the phone but they are using it in the browser like this one you go to the browser click login the autofill services pops out and then fills the password and you can successfully log in but when you come to the android app the same application you have your password manager synced and everything is ready but when you click in it's not going to pop up okay yeah there might be one or two that would do that but there's a way to do that you go back if you're using google password.google.com is where you manage the passwords and since your chrome is already synced just search for the name of the application uh, for google uh, it will ask you for verification to put your password or fingerprint or any other screen secure lock you have and then you just copy the password that's all or password and username whichever one but i already know the username so i just need to copy the password and then paste it in there and then type in the username so what happens right now is that immediately you click login the password manager will pop up and ask you to save so all you need to do is to save it within the application and once that is done the next time you sign out or want to sign into the application the autofill services will remember it again pop up and fill the login details for you and that way the application will start working with autofill services
You've done almost everything you need to do to make auto fill, filling all login details for application in your phone. But now comes where we need to take up the security of your account to the next level. So if you're going to use password manager, the account that you're using it with ought to be very, very, very secure. If it is Google, you go to accounts.google.com, you're going to see a whole lot of things, uh, whether you're going to ways to verify it's you, you're going to see security, how to use your phone to sign in as extra layer of security so that means for every signing you have to use your phone and then there is a lot more you can do two-factor authentication make sure you have your recovery email and phone number that are very very active so this is very very important so that somebody would not easily hijack or you know hack the account that have all your password in it so this is very very important so the easier way to also do all this is to have security check like if you're using google google always once you go to your account google will show you security check so this security check up will now help you to know some things like in this my account here i have some devices i've signed in signed out of 400 and something days you just have to remove all of it and make sure that your security check up is all clean so that'll be about it for today i want you to subscribe put your comments uh, in the comment section and like share as much as you can and i'll see you in the next video peace out yeah.